Hey everyone, uh, I just wanted to do a quick video about my handles on my fire poi, particularly how I attach the rope to the swivels. So yeah, let's get started. I have my fire poi here and they're really dirty uh, because I, I just throw them all in a bag so all the soot actually gets on the handles. Basically I have a furniture foot which you can get at any hardware store. Uh, I have quarter inch Kevlar rope which I got from Fire Mecca and I have a ball bearing swivel which this one I got from Home of Poi. Uh, Fire Mecca also sells them. Um, and then I have a split ring and chain and you know yada yada yada. Let me show you how this all comes together. Okay, what I've got here are the parts of my handle. Uh, this is actually nylon rope. Um, this is this is the Kevlar rope I use. Uh, as you can see, it's really dirty. So I'm going to use the, the nylon rope just so you can see it a little better. Basically, I've just got this tied in a loop, and this is a figure eight knot. This keeps the, uh, the this end from, from coming through the, the handle, the, the furniture foot. Uh, this is a rubber furniture foot. Uh, it's really dirty, but it's, it's actually like white rubber. You can get it in black too. This is a washer. If you drill a, a small enough hole just so that the rope uh, just fits through uh, through there, um, it's fine uh, without without the washer. It, it should hold, but uh, I add the washer just so it's uh, a little stiffer because uh, the rubber will stretch a little bit. Um, but the steel obviously won't. You don't even really need the weight. It, it does add a little bit of weight, but um, it, it doesn't really need it. So I just put the, the washer right in there and it, it matches um, the size of the hole that I've drilled into the furniture foot. Okay, so then you just thread this uh, rope through the hole. So that's how you get the rope onto the furniture foot. The swivel, you want to put the rope on the female end of the swivel. On, uh, on one of the forums on uh, Facebook, I was using uh, male and female as terminology for, for which end of the swivel is which. Uh, and some people were having trouble um, following what I meant, or which end is the male end, which end is the female end. Obviously these are terms that I borrowed from mammalian biology uh, describing the female and male tender bits. Um, and uh, the female looks like this, the male looks like this, and they fit together like this. Um, but, but you probably already knew that, so, so that probably doesn't help. If, uh, if you take a closer look at a ball bearing swivel. Uh, I've actually drawn a cross section of it here. Basically what you have is a barrel, uh, this outside barrel here, right? Uh, and then you have a peg that comes into the barrel and there are ball bearings here and here, or well it, it goes all the way around in a circle and that's what gives it that rolling friction that, that makes it so nice and, uh, and, and free spinning. So obviously this, this bigger end here that's the female end, and then this peg that goes up inside, that's the male end. Um, the reason it's important to, to put it on the female end is if you put it on this end, when this spins around here, this edge will, uh, will start wearing into the, uh, the rope, and you don't, you don't want that. So this is the female end here. This is the male end. You take the ring on the female end, get this loop, put it through the ring, okay? And then open it up, bring it up and over the whole swivel, like that, and then pull it back. So now it's resting at the top of the barrel. The, the rope is resting at the top of the barrel. There, okay? Again, a lot of people have like D-rings or triangle D-rings and like quick links um, and like all, all sorts of garbage hardware like right here and when you wrap the, the chain around your hand all of that uh, hardware is, is pressing up against your, your skin and it's, it's very uncomfortable um, so this way I either have uh, fabric, uh, Kevlar, 
or twist link chain on my hands at all times. Got a bit of rope here. Um, I, I do know that Drex did have a cold cord break on him when he just had it through the ring like that and then back on itself. Um, that puts all of the force, the tension force, on the side of the rope. That's why I wind it around the female end because it has a wider radius to go around so it, it spreads out that force um, over uh, more of the side of the rope um, like that. Kind of like a pulley. It's a sort of similar concept. So I, I hope that was I hope that was helpful. Um, okay bye.